Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are back on TierMaker.com doing an updated ranking video for all of the Ninjago ninja masks that have ever been made. And by that, I mean all of the different molds. A lot of these molds have been used on multiple suits in multiple colors, but these are all just one mold at the end of the day. For another disclaimer, this will just be my own opinion. Obviously, we have ourselves the tiers here. A through F, but when the video is over, feel free to rank them all according to your opinion down below in the comment section. So let's start with the original mold. The original mask for the ninja, classic but also rather limited. We only have that one clip on the back that only stores one type of weapon, and there's not a whole lot of variety here. Uh, sure, it came in many different colors, but at the end of the day, it is kind of basic. I think I'm gonna say C tier for this one, just because yes it's simple yes it's classic but there are better ninja masks out there that offer a bit more variety uh next up the kendo masks not really ninja so i'm gonna say d tier uh i don't think any of these will end up in the f tier but maybe when the video is done we can bump some down i don't know not crazy about these masks it makes sense as like training gear but it doesn't really scream ninja to me you know uh next up the zx hoods used on the zx ninja the kimono ninja and also the zukin ninja along with some other designs uh classic but a bit overused but it does have a lot more variety compared to the og so i will put it in the b tier i do appreciate when they have crests though uh for the zukin ninja for example from season four they just printed their symbols on there doesn't really fit with this particular mold uh, i like it more when it has the crest or when it's just one solid color anyway moving on we have the half masks here used on the island suits as well as obviously the season three rebooted robes and the tournament ninja uh pretty cool i'd say again very simplistic but a lot of fun i will say b tier for this one too uh but i will drop it below the zx hoods i like the half masks i like how you can add some variety here with all of the different hair pieces but at the end of the day it is just one small piece that doesn't really make up that much of the figure so i'll say b tier can't really put it any higher however this mask mold the deep stone skybound day of the departed hands of time mold i really like i love the dual molding here i think you can get some excellent color combinations especially uh for possession and skybound you have the black color with the ninja's other color uh, i just think that looks really nice really good piece too a tier these are definitely some of my favorite masks next up we have the ninja Ninjago movie, uh, Sons of Garmadon, Ninjago hunted hoods. Not my favorite, not my favorite. In fact, I'm going to go C tier, but I will probably place them above the OG masks. Uh, not my favorite masks. I like, again, the variety that you can get here because they are two different pieces, the top and the bottom. So you can swap those around a lot, but it does make swapping the mask from figure to figure a lot more irritating and time consuming. That bottom part does not come off unless the entire head is off, but still a lot of variety uh, and it looks good on the shelf. I like the general shape, but actually uh, playing with these things, handling them, it's not all that fun, honestly. Next up, we have the Ninjago Legacy Hoods, which have also been used for Ninjago Season 11, uh, crystallized. Uh, I'd probably put them in B tier, maybe above the ZX masks. Yeah, let's go with that. At the time that these were released, not a lot of people really liked them, but I honestly don't mind them all that much. I think they look good. A lot of variety there. The only downside here, and the reason why they're not in A tier, uh, you can only attach one specific type of shoulder armor to these masks because the tails on the back dip down too far and makes attaching things like ZX armor impossible. So because of that limit in uh, customization, B tier. Next up, Forbidden Spinjitsu. Not crazy about these ones. These were also used on many other energized figures. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to say D tier too, but I'll put it above the kendo suits because these at least look ninja-esque. I'm just not a huge fan of the energy shooting out the top. I know that's the gimmick with these figures, but I just don't like that. I feel like they oftentimes make some really ugly color combinations, especially for uh, lighter 
shades of this um, energy with darker masks. It just kind of makes it look muddy and not as energized and as powerful. And also it just doesn't really look all that great to me. So I will say D tier. It, just, just not my favorite, not my favorite. Uh, the Digi masks, I'm also not a huge fan of. Um, I'll, I'll probably have to say C tier for these ones too. I'll place it below the pilot uh, hoods though. Yeah, the digi masks, I mean, they look fine, but again, they can only really be used in one specific circumstance. And I'm a huge fan of variety. I like when things can have multiple purposes. Uh, this one though, again, Prime Empire only. Uh, similar to that, we have season 13 Master of the Mountain hero hoods. There we go. Um, yeah, these things are interesting because they kind of combine ninjas and knights. These were designed specifically for Master of the Mountain, but I feel like these have a bit more variety. Uh, so I will say B tier for these ones. I'll probably leave it right there though, below the half masks, but above the Ninjago movie masks. Uh, like I said, combining knights and ninja, I think it looks pretty good overall. Uh, yeah, nothing really too much to complain about there. I like the color combinations with the gold and the silver, depending on what ninja you have. Maybe I would have preferred some more variety in the colors, but still not too bad. These scuba masks are rather strange to me. Uh, the masks themselves look fine, I guess, but then you have that awkward scuba piece and it just creates another season eight uh, Ninjago movie mask situation. But I will put it above the Prime Empire Digi masks, but these two are very much on the same playing field for me. Next up, the Golden Dragon masks that we saw during Ninjago Crystallized. Not too bad, but also you can't really use these for anything else, so I'm going to say C tier for these ones too. And uh, plus, these fall into a similar uh, trap that these masks fall into, where sometimes the energy coming out of the back looks a little bit uh, muddy and messy. So C tier, and also there's not a whole lot of color variety here, there's only like four pieces in existence, so... Yeah, can't really place it any higher than this, but it does look pretty cool though. Makes sense for the Dragon Ninja. And finally, we have the three masks that we have in Dragons Rising, all of which use the exact same bottom piece. And what exactly do we have here? The regular base Dragons Rising masks along with the armor. Uh, it's kind of like the season eight thing again except it's not as like, uh, you know, ninja, like it's not traditional ninja. It's more angular, almost looking robotic. I don't mind these masks overall, uh, but they are definitely not my favorite. I think I will place them in the C tier right here. I do like when they have horns though. I think Aaron's design is a bit more, uh, unique and clever and interesting. I like the horns. What can I say? Maybe all of the ninja for Dragons Rising should have had the daredevil horns. Uh, in terms of Sora with the cat ears, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to place it in the same category as these two. And I said earlier, if nothing ends up in the F tier, we can just bump down whatever falls lowest. So the kendo masks, I will say F tier. Again, makes sense for the training parts of the ninja's careers, but it doesn't really scream ninja to me. And I think that'll just about do it for all of my updated late 2023 rankings of all of the ninja masks that exist so far. Again, this one is my favorite. I'm really glad that Dragon's Rising Season 2 is bringing back a similar type of mask. But with that being said, guys, feel free to rank all all of these masks according to your own opinion down below in the comment section or if you just wanted to drop your favorite mask that works too if you guys enjoyed this one feel free to like and subscribe do all that fun stuff and i will talk to you guys again very very soon peace